Hello YouTube and welcome to this channel. In this video I'm going to continue the, uh, the model that we started for uh, predicting the, uh, the current path in a conduction uh, mode and uh, right now we are going to do some assignments here. So um, I'm gonna go and select uh, my assignments here and um, as always I'm gonna select the faces and go with the first one and um, actually what we can do here is we can select multiple faces as our multiple um, input current. So we have um, this two from the sides and also we can have one current that comes from the other side. So we have two sides and all these guys. And, uh, and yes, we can say uh, let's assign a current into this. And uh, as you can see, they are all coming in to the surface, so that's good. And uh, let's put the current of one, for example, amp into this. And uh, as a solid current, that's okay. Cool. So that will create for us a bunch of currents like this. And as you can see, they're all coming into the surface. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and say, uh, now we need some outlets. So the outlets for us would be... Uh, basically this guy and this guy. So these two guys are going to be outlets of our current. So I'm going to say uh, current output. Um, so we should remember that how much current we put in and how much current is going to go out. So if you don't like to uh, calculate the current that comes in and comes out for whatever reason, you can cancel this and instead of saying this much in, this much out, you can say, uh, which is actually true because you don't know how much is current, current coming from here and how much current from there. In DC calculation mode, you can do something amazing, and that is current sync. So if you go to the excitation, now you have an option that says uh, basically well, sorry. I mean the magnetostatic, sorry. That's why you don't see it. So in the magnetostatic, you don't see the current uh, sink, right? So you just see the current applying. So if you go and change it to DC current now, uh, and you can see here that uh, over here you can have two uh, set up ready. And now I'm going to go and say excitation sink. Very simple. And you may ask, what happened to those current that you define in magnetostatic engine? Don't worry about it. This is fine. All the parts that are similar and the, the same name, uh, the Maxwell will take care of them when you change the engine. It will just switch it into the um, different engine mode. So the excitation will stay stay valid. Uh, again, sync here is going to be synced here, and this is one of the differences between the Maxwell uh, DC current conduction and the other engines. So it's not always just for that. One of the good is, uh, study here is we do have sync here, so we can calculate which part is taking more. Otherwise, you have to say this guy has to take out like four amp, and this guy have to get like take out two amps. How much is the thing? It's going to be hard, but when you say sync, it's very simple. And you don't need to put zero volt or anything. You just say sync, and it will work for you. Okay, so uh, cool enough. And um, uh, let's do some meshing at the same time as well. Um, I'm going to go select everything and just say, uh, you know what, I want to make... Um, actually, I'm going to select everything first and uh, make them to be... Um, unite so everything is now united and so uh, I wouldn't have any um, any problem that that sense and also um, I want to select this guy and uh, um, in the meshing I'm gonna say um, I want to make sure that I'm actually solving inside so solve inside is connect is checked and I want to make sure that the meshing for the uh, for all 
uh, is going to be good enough. So I'm gonna gonna give this value, but I'm gonna say at least a thousand or like maybe two thousand two thousand um, uh, elements. So that will give a clue to the mesh engine to how to start the initial mesh. Um, so that is that is it. And if you run this, oh yeah, analysis setup of course. Um, let's go and check out this. Um, Thirty percent is good and. 10 and 1% is also good. So we can leave this just by creating that. So now everything is fine. That means that we can see you guys in next video for uh, the results.